Hey everybody, it's Jessica, and today I'm going to unbox my plum paper planner for 2023. Um, you can see my beat up version of this planner, same exact planner, same exact layout, same exact color scheme, all of that right here. This is my work planner. So this is the A5 plum paper planner and you'll see it in the vertical columns with the modern color scheme because I love that color scheme. Um, She's seen some wear and tear this year. I carry this thing with me to work. I do work in person at a university, so she goes places with me. So that's how it looks after a year. I don't always take great care of my work planner. Um, I have a work planner that I just scribble things in, and then I have my pretty sticker planner that stays at home, which is the one that's mostly featured on this channel. But I thought I'd go ahead and unbox the less pretty planner. Well, it's pretty right now, don't get me wrong. It's just by the this time next year, this planner is going to be, you know, pretty beat up from me taking it everywhere. Although I feel like I'm going to try and use stickers in this planner this year, at least like on the monthly views. But I just like having a planner that I can like dump stuff in and use crazy whiteout and all stuff like that when like life is kind of chaotic. So let's go ahead and open this up. I already opened it, but I haven't taken everything out of the packaging yet. Um, why is this diff Oh, right. It's because the box is upside down because the other side of this box has my address on it. Hold on. There we go. My desk is kind of narrow or kind of shallow, so I can't always show everything on camera. Um, also, it is like half an hour before my cat's feeding time, so she is currently running around protesting that I'm not feeding her yet. Um, so I feel like this came with the order last year. This is like a sample of the cover material they like to give you for some reason. I don't know. I guess it's cool. So there's that. I don't really know what to do with that. And then I ordered, I think on Cyber Monday. So I don't know if they were doing this with all, if they didn't do this with last year's order, if I remember correctly, but, um, and I think I ordered either Black Friday or Cyber Monday last year, but they gave these like page flags in the modern color scheme, which is really cool. Cause I do really enjoy this modern color scheme. I'm ordering it for the second time in a row. So yeah, just some like kind of plasticky page flags. You can use those in a book or something like that. Although now that I'm not a student, I don't really use things like this, but that beautiful modern color scheme though, you know, if you know, you know. So yeah, just a little freebie and then just like some promotional stuff. Honestly, I could cut this part out and frame it. That would be cute. All right. And then we have, of course, the actual planner. So let's go ahead and pull this out. Can you hear my cat? I hope you can. <laughs> she gets zoomies before she eats. She gets zoomies after she eats. I don't know what's up with that, but cats are slightly mysterious, aren't they? Okay, so like I said, this is the A5 planner and I really love the cover that I got for this next year. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. For some reason, this particular pattern makes the cover, or makes the planner look bigger than A5. I don't know why that is. And there are little, for some reason there's lots of marks on it this time, but it's fine. I don't, again, this doesn't stay pretty for long in my world. So it's fine if it's a little, you know, paper bits here and there. So yeah, I can't remember what this um, pattern is called, but I got it because uh, like I said, I work at a university, I teach at a university, and I like books. So like last year, I went with my love for being outdoors, and at the beginning of 2022, one of my goals was to like get out more, and we did go camping, and we did do a lot of like road trip stuff this year, so that was neat. Um, and then this one, I just thought it was really pretty. And then the only customization I do on the cover is that I like to get the year up in the corner. Um, you have some other options for like your initials or something in like a circle, or you can do something in a bar along the bottom. But I just like the simplicity of having the year, as you can see from this year's planner. Something I noticed they changed this year is that um, you don't have to get like this two cover thing. That used to be like their only option. Um, they have a few different cover options now, including like a hard cover. So if you're interested in that, go for it. Um, personally, I like having like the plastic cover and then this like vinyl cover. I don't know what material that's called. 
Okie doke. And then, like I said, this is, like, pretty much exactly the same as last year. At least I ordered exactly the same thing I did last year because it was just working for me. So, like, why fix it if it's not broken, you know? Plum paper is, like, I feel like a good, like, mid-price range planner because, like, it's nice, but it's not, like, luxurious to the point where you're spending, like, a lot of money on it. Like, if you order during a sale, I feel like you're paying about the same price that you would for a, a good planner from Target or somewhere like that. And you do get to customize things a little bit more. So I like pump plum paper for work planners. That's the beginning pages, 2023 calendar. The special dates calendar. I used this and then forgot about it for like the second six months of the year. I just recently went back into this year's planner and filled in like the second half of the year with special dates. And then I totally didn't use this ideas, plans, goals page this year. I, I completely forgot it existed. Um, so this year I do want to use this. And then you get straight into the months. Um, before this page used to have Oh no, I guess it didn't. Never mind. <laughs> Just kidding. Normally before the monthly page, like you have a notes page for the previous month, but I guess with January that wouldn't apply. So this is the modern color scheme. If you haven't seen it, I loved it so much last year that I just stuck with it. I'm I just love that they have this color scheme. You get birthdays, events, things to remember. This is all the same as the last year. I don't really use this that much though. I do use this monthly notes page though for my monthly budget. That's where that goes. And then you have the monthly pages and you can customize what holidays you want. They have them like grouped in their website, which is really handy. So I live in the U.S., so I get the U.S. holidays and um, you can even select like if you, well, I think you should know when Lunar New Year and MLK Day are if you're an American personally. But like if you didn't care to have like President's Day in your planner or something like that, um, or you just really don't feel like having Groundhog Day, you can deselect that. But I pretty much opted for all of the U.S. holidays except Columbus Day for reasons. And then I also added the Christian holidays. Um, and same thing, you can deselect whichever ones you don't personally celebrate. I personally identify as Catholic, so I kept all of them because um, we, we observe all of them. So, yeah, that's why you'll see... Uh, holidays in here. I do really like that feature that you can just add or subtract whatever holidays you want. I think you can even like add your own birthdays and stuff. Don't quote me on that. Check the website, but um, I haven't tried that, but I think you can do that at least on the monthly pages. So that's January. And then the weeks in the plum paper are a little weird um, because you kind of like not with this week, but like a lot of times you get them like twice, which is a little strange, but whatever. You just deal with it. Um, so this would be like the last week of 2022. This is what a full week would look like. And again, this is the A5 vertical columns. So you don't have any like boxes or anything. You just have the lines. And I was worried last year when I first got this planner that, um, these columns would be too narrow for me. They work perfectly fine for me. So that's great. And then I didn't customize anything over here, but you can, I think, customize some of this stuff if you're paying like $5 more or something like that. But I just leave it as the standard to-do list. This is my weekly checklist, obviously, and then notes. I usually put like a highlight of the week in there. So I'm just going to quickly flip through. When I get a new planner, I like to flip through the whole thing. And so that way you can see what every week looks like and what every color scheme looks like. And I can double check that every page is actually included in the planner because sometimes, sometimes they forget to put a page. Not this company personally, but like sometimes it's happened with other companies where they forget to put pages in. So let's just flip through.
my birthday is Mother's Day this year, which happens, like, I want to say every, like, five or six years. So, and I think two of my brothers have graduations this weekend as well. So we're going to be real busy this weekend in May. I also just love that May is this mustard color scheme. I know from years past, a lot of people don't like this color. I adore this color. So I'm so happy that the month that my birthday is in is in this color. I also like the peach color, which is also apparently a really polarizing color. Twenty twenty four is gonna start on a Monday, y'all. Nice. And then at the end of the planner, you just get a bunch of dot grid. Well, not that many. I feel like you got more last year, but I could be wrong. But you get a few dot grid note pages. Those are nice to have, um, especially like my current planner. I have things for twenty twenty three written on the page here. Contacts page, and then passwords page, and then a twenty twenty four calendar leap year and then you get a folder which I use to store receipts because like I said I do my budgets in this planner so I put receipts in there and then you go to the back page and then you're done flipping through your whole planner I'm gonna pick off like all these little paper bits later but yeah that is my 2023 work planner I hope you enjoyed seeing it um, thanks so much for watching I hope that if you enjoyed this video that you'll stick around on my channel 2023 is gonna be a big year for us uh, because we are getting married so there's gonna be lots of exciting plans to talk about on this channel so I hope you'll stick around for that anyway I'm gonna let you go and I will talk to you later bye